Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and welcome to the Denton Creek Trail. It's gonna be legend, wait for it, Terry. So the Denton Creek Trail, I've never been out here before. I actually never knew about it. I was just on the Onyx app, just looking for new trails to check out. And this one happened to pop up just about two hours north of me. So, you know, I had the day off work. I was like, let's get up here and check it out. As you could probably see, I am pulling the trailer as well. I have the Overland trailer with me. Uh, hopefully we're gonna find a spot where we can do a little bit of camping tonight. So just getting into it, initial impressions of the trail, it is extremely sandy. We're air down to about 20 PSI, uh, just for the extra traction and comfort. A lot of whoops in this trail, uh, especially with pulling the trailer, it's like a lot of times you're just hopping back and forth. So ideally I'd like to find a camp spot sooner than later and drop this trailer off and do a more exploring of this trail system. So Denton Creek Trail is a 25 mile trail. It is a point to point trail. It runs west to east or east to west. Uh, we're starting on the west end and going east. Um, on Onyx, it is a green trail. They do rate it three out of 10 in intensity. Um, it's open to ATVs, ORVs, uh, dirt bikes, quads, Jeeps. Um, so far, it's an easy trail. It's just a lot of whoops. So the whoops on this trail are absolutely horrible. Um, for the most part, you'll find areas that smooth out every once in a while, but I feel like my trailer back there is just getting rattled apart just because the whoops are just, just crazy on this trail. Just coming up on the trail here, just on the left, there's this yellow trail that goes off to this little roundabout. I'm wondering if there's maybe a place I could stop and just set this camper up and that way I don't have to keep pulling it through the rest of the trail. I'm hoping there's some place I can set this thing because like I said, I feel like it's just getting rattled apart on this trail. Um, I did Tin Cup a couple weeks ago and Tin Cup has a lot of whoops in it, but I feel like this trail has even more. So let's get into this trail right here and just see if we can find a place to set up camp. Little tight through here. With a couple of trees being down, it's probably been a little bit before anyone's been down this trail. All right, it definitely looks like it opens up right over here. So this is actually probably gonna work out really well to drop the tra trailer and just get camp set up real quick. The downside to backing up a short trailer, they jackknife so easily. The upside is though, you can just unhook it, pick up the tongue and move it to wherever you need to go. All right guys, the trailer is dropped. I didn't set it up yet. I'll set it up when I come back later on this evening. I wanna get this trail finished off and then we'll come back and set up camp. Guys, the trailer is dropped. I'm just gonna grab a Red Bull. We're gonna get back on the trail here. New fridge from Set Power. It's awesome. All right, 
right, so now hopefully this trail will be more of an enjoyable experience now that we don't have trailer in tow. We could pick up our pace a little bit. You know, with the trailer, I was only able to go maybe five, 10 miles an hour. Um, now we can kick it up a little bit. Um, I did have it in four wheel drive with the trailer as well, just because some of that sand was really deep and I needed the extra pulling power essentially. Now that we just have just the truck, you know, two wheel drive, we're just gonna make some good time now. So far on this trail, nothing difficult. It's all been pretty easy. You know, that rating of three, which is a little bit higher rating than what they give 10 cup. There are some uh, deep spots of sand, uh, so maybe that's why they get it a three, but honestly, I've been in two wheel drive this entire time and we haven't had any issues. With many other trail systems in this area, there are different ways you can go. This is the way we came from, where it says Higgins Lake, Grayling, Gaylord. Uh, but there's this road here, which obviously goes into this road, which is the trail that we're following right now. But then there's these trails that go off this way as well. Um, we're going to just stay on the Denton Creek uh, Trail so we can just finish that one off. I just found this little offshoot off the main trail and I would just look down at it real quick and saw a glimpse of like an old oil rig. Check this out. Definitely really cool to see. Uh, I'm not really sure if it's still operational or not, but neat piece of history. Sign here says wet area. That should be fun. We haven't seen much water on this trail at all. Just one spot that had three or four water puddles, but you know, maybe a third of the way up the tires, not very deep at all. Beautiful lake out here. There's a swan and a couple of geese. So I feel like most of this trail is just, it's just this, it's just regular dirt road. Um, there's a couple of whoops here and there, but for the most part, this is what you're looking at. This is why it's nice having onyx. Splitting the road, not really sure which way to go, so I just looked on the onyx app here. It looks like the trail stays to the left, so that's the way we're heading. Looks like off to the left here is Boyce Lake. I wonder if there's a spot I could stop and park and just grab a snack. So I did a video, an unboxing of this fridge about a month or so ago. This is the Set Power AB15 fridge. Um, I've been using it for about a month. We took it down to Florida. Um, it's worked really, really well. Uh, the reason why I do like it is it's compact size. Um, it fits right behind the seats of the Jeep, um, either the Wrangler or the Gladiator, which one I'm taking. Um, you know, you could fit 
21 cans of uh, soda, pop, beer, whatever you want in it. Um, so thanks to Set Power for sending this out. It's been working awesome for us. I will say this about Denton Creek Trail. It's not a hard trail, but it is very scenic. the map here this here says trailhead which this is the actual trailhead for denton creek trail however it goes left and right from here we started looking over on this map so we're here we started over here on the 127 and then went all the way up through here so we're here and like i said it does go both ways so we still have all of this to do and then when you get over here it turns into the saint helen over orv route so let's just finish this off All right, so it looks like we've come to a spot where the trail kind of crosses around with these power lines. It looks like we got to stay to the left and go up these power lines a little bit. And then once we get up a little ways, we're going to hang a right. This looks like it's our right. not too much you know the trails not flooded over or anything like that you know a lot can be said for trail therapy it's not a hard trail at all but it's a beautiful sunny 68 degree day out here i mean any bad day on the trail beats a good day in the office As you guys can see on the map, this is the very end of the Denton Creek Trail. Uh, this one zoomed in a little bit better. You can see it a little bit better. But yeah, where that green is, that's the end of the trail. Now, if you do stay on this trail, it keeps going on and it does connect into the St. Helen or V route. All right, guys. So according to Onyx Off-Road, this is the official end or beginning of the trail, whichever way you decide to run it. Like I said, I ran it from west to east. Um, so obviously this is where we're gonna end up. So we came down this way um, and then you can take any of these. Um, if you continue on this trail down here, but going like a mile or two, it does turn into the St. Hel Helens ORV route, uh, but that'll probably be just a different trail for a different day. So now I gotta get myself turned around and get back to camp. And then uh, we're gonna set camp up, you know, cook some food, hang out for the night, and then we'll take off in the morning. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.